Welcome to Jason Whiskey Wise, myself Jason, today bringing you whiskey review into the Glenfiddich 21 year old Grand Reserva Rum Cast. So this is going to be the final installment in terms of my Glenfiddich core expressions and then we'll move into a few other whiskies and hopefully return back with the 25, 30 and also the 14 year old Rich Oak so we'll complete more of the Glenfiddich range. Now I want to start off by saying I got a new glass for this actual video and you'll see it up on screen over here. This is called a Luigi Grappa glass. So very interesting, it's a stem glass and I've been sort of, sort of exploring now with different glassware for videos to understand different ways of assessing and nosing the whiskies. So I'm going to be using this glass for this review. I'll keep that to the side over there for Mr. Bananas. And I will start with my review style structure. So in terms of the age for this one, this is a 21 year old whiskey bottled at 40%. The cast selection on this one, um, primarily I think American Oak and then it's finished off in a Grand Reserva rum cast for I think it's around about four months. Now in terms of overall, the actual distillery is the Glenfiddich Distillery, which you'll see over there. It's actually owned by the company, William Grant and Sons. And they are located in Speyside, Scotland and specifically Dufftown. So if you go and pay them a visit, you can actually visit the sister distillery, Balvenie. And I believe Canindby is not for visiting at the moment. Now in terms of the price on that bottle over there, it's around about £135. It is a 70CL as it is one of the sort of the core but the older expressions in the core range. Now it does come in two different colors. Um, the older box, which you'll see over here, is a brownish sort of red looking box. And that one's now being discontinued and they've worked themselves into now an orange box. So a much more fluorescent orange and a bit more vibrant to really sort of give off the image of that tropical notes that come up from the rum cast, being the Caribbean Grand Reserva rum cast. Now in terms of exclusivity, it is not exclusive. It is available everywhere. And in terms of the caramel colouring, I don't believe there is any caramel colouring in this one, but it is at 40%, so I can't really judge it off the back straight away on that. But anyway, if I do hold it up to the screen, I will let you guys judge the colour at home. It does have a sort of nice healthy glow in terms of that amber, so it does have a nice sort of sunbursty character to it. But on that note, let's begin by using this new glass and assessing the nose. Into the nose. So to begin on the nose for this whiskey, it does start a lot with those tropical fruity characters. I'm picking out lots of banana on this one, and it's almost like a baked or maybe even a pan-fried banana caramelizing slightly on the edges and the crispy inside. I'm getting a note of even a little bit of a warm vanilla aspect, and it's almost like, I was going to say vanilla oak, but it's almost custardy in terms of it makes your mouth almost water when you're nosing it. But those tropical fruits are really there, they're quite dominant, and then it's sort of accompanied by a slight a slight dried fruity character, almost like dried sherried fruits. Because they're juicy, they're not completely fully dried out. And on the back end of that, there is a sort of Glenfiddich classic style of that sort of apple note with a little bit of spices and that oakiness, just really telling you that it has had that time in the cask of 21 years. All in all, really, really awesome nose. And this is something I really find interesting with a style like this for being finished off in a rum cask. It gives you those really flavors that you don't normally get in a classic Scotch style. So let's move in next into the palette for this whiskey. Slasher. Now to start on the palette for the Glenfiddich 21, those spices are starting out on this one. Actually, it's starting out first with the spices, working its way with a little bit of that peppery aspect, Candy ginger, it's almost making that mouth warming essence as well. And now it's accompanied by those dry fruits. I'm picking out sultanas in this one. A little bit of sun dried raisins and dried apples and pears. With a little character on the end there of a very nice and ripe orange. It's actually really, sort of the texture overall is, I'd say it's quite until that medium to full viscosity. It's not, you know, completely full and rich, but it is almost getting there. And that peppery spice is sort of dominating on the sides of the palette a little bit more. All in all, really nice palette. Let's next get into the finish and we'll come to my conclusion on the Glenfiddich 21. So now working my way into the finish of this whiskey, it does have what I'd say is a full length in the finish. The spices sort of almost end and as they're fading just very gently it now makes way through back for those tropical characters with those I'm getting a little bit of pineapple even that bananas coming back 
and a citrusy zing. All in all, really, really well created whiskey. And in terms of my rating, I'm going to give it a 92 out of 100. Reason being, to actually use a rum cast effectively is a very difficult job. And the only downside I'd have with this whiskey in terms of the actual overall is that one, it's at 40%. I wish it would be at a higher sort of higher cast strength. I feel that's something that Glyphitic should have done. But overall, and also the price, it's around about 135 waves. If you look at Balvenie's Caribbean cask, it's around about, I think it's around about 50 pounds. But I can't really, you know, fuss that because at the end of the day, it is a 21-year-old whiskey. So all in all, I think the only thing I've got a downside with is the aspect of the uh, ABV being very low at 40%. If I felt if it was a little bit higher, around about 46, maybe give us 48, you get to see much more of those characters. But all in all, very good finishing, well-constructed whiskey, and it holds its own as a nice, rich flavor. But I'd say anything around about 100 to 135 pounds is a good price. Anything more than that, I personally, I'd feel reluctant to paying that. But that's my own, that's my, my own opinion. So anyway, let me know your thoughts if you've tried the Glenfiddich 21 rum cast. And uh, leave your comments down below in the comment section. But on that note, I'm going to wrap the video at that. It's been me, Mr. Bananas. If you have missed any of my videos, I'll leave the Glenfiddich range up on screen. Leave the subscribe button over there. And you can drop it a like if you like down below. But on that note, it's been Jason Whiskey Wise. And I'll catch you all for next video. Slasher.